गाइस दिस इज रॉनी वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल टोटल टेक्नोलॉजी दिस इज ट्यूटोरियल एट एंड टू दिस टॉपिक विल बी गोइंग टू एक्चुअली अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू एड डॉक्यूमेंट इन बल्क टू अ गिवन इलास्टिक सर्च इंडेक्स यूजिंग रेस्ट एपीआई एंड पाइथन ऑब्वियसली पाइथन इज आवर मेन और बेस्ट लाइन प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो इन द लास्ट ट्यूटोरियल विच वॉज ट्यूटोरियल सेवन इन दैट ट्यूटोरियल वट वी डीड वी एक्चुअली अंडरस्टूड हाउ टू एड अ सिंगल डॉक्यूमेंट टू अ इलास्टिक सर्च इंडेक्स एंड इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल विल बी गोइंग टू एक्चुअली डू द सेम थिंग बट दिस टाइम विल बी गोइंग टू एक्चुअली Uh, add document in bulk means we'll be going to add multiple documents right so this sort of things are very useful when uh, probably the requirement is actually integrate with some sort of uh, uh, data uh, provider or maybe some sort of log files or maybe uh, some sort of csv file etc right so uh, by keeping in mind that most of you are going to start working on some sort of project or maybe in some freelance assignment so i thought thought of actually doing this tutorial right now so what we'll do in this tutorial we'll be going to have a, a big csv file we'll be going to actually integrate that csv file in, into our elk means every csv file line will be added as a document to the elastic search given index okay that is the objective of this tutorial okay without doing further delay let me open my vs code okay this is the vs code so this is a file so basically it has 16007 record okay and this is basically a web server log record okay so ip time url and status will be going to add uh, every line as a single document to elastic search index okay so our index is actually we already know uh what is our index so maybe if i go ahead this is our index like uh, we did uh, let's text underscore index using api in the last tutorial we have done this so same thing will be going to actually work so first thing we'll be going to read from this file so io and request okay so let's add this two thing let me make it a little bit bigger yes now it is fine so first what we will do we'll be going to uh, read from the file so we'll be going to read from the file and also we'll be going to add in the same time so maybe um, i believe if most of you are already familiar with python so obviously we'll be going to do some sort of looping right so i'm not going to actually discuss that python part here but if you are still interested about uh, learning python maybe we have some other courses and also we have some live classes as well so if you want to actually enroll any of those things so please go ahead and uh, let me know okay so let's start our um, journey with this thing so first thing uh, i just explain actually first we will be going to read from the file for reading the file what are the things are required so for uh, reading the file we have to actually write something like that with io dot open then uh, web log dot csv will be going to read using read and our encoding will be uh encoding will be utf-8 right and then as f1 like this and then data equals to f1 dot read right and then it will be f1 dot close like this and then print data okay so it is ready now next thing is what we'll be going to actually iterate through every line now it is actually showing uh, the entire file but our objective is actually read the line by line everything right so what we'll do we'll just uh, create a variable called lines like this and then it will be data of split split means we'll be going to read uh, line by line so we'll be going to read the entire file by split and i just don't want the header so i'll be just going to skip the first line okay and then we will be going to have a for loop for line in lines okay and then print line right then execute okay so everything is fine right so next thing is actually what next thing is actually uh, we will be going to actually uh, create the url headers and other things right so let me create the url for our elk so url is actually going to be uh, localhost 9800 local so maybe http colon slash slash localhost okay right 9200 local local host 9200 right this is our localhost right then headers so maybe headers are actually uh, actually json 
so maybe it will be content type so maybe content hyphen type and it will be application json application slash json right apply application then slash json right then comma right so maybe content type and this and then application json okay uh, then what will happen uh, let me actually uh, uh, do something so maybe uh, json data means the actual message so actual message will be going to form uh, from here actually okay so what we'll do here uh, let me actually do something so i don't need this line so rather than what i'll do i'll just go ahead write uh, ip then time then url and url and then status right so ip is going to be line dot split and comma of zero right the first line this first thing is this is ip and everything is separated by comma so second thing is time it will be also separated by comma but the index will be one so copy paste copy paste and copy paste okay one two three okay right then what we'll do we'll be going to uh, add a json header right so let's add a json header here so how you are going to add a json data so json underscore data like this okay and it will be like this like this and then message right and this and there will be going to write this is added oh sorry it was last time i did so this time it is not going to be like so maybe ip is going to be ip this variable right or maybe i can just write something like this ip uh, address is this then you can just write timestamp is we are not doing any timestamp uh, operation right now it's a very important topic maybe we can do it later just i'm just uh, putting the raw time from the log okay so then actually url so url is going to be url and then uh, st status is going to be status okay so everything is done then what will happen will be just going to call the request body so maybe the response actually so what is going to happen here so maybe we are just going to write response equals to request dot put right then we will be going to put url our url so after the url what is actually going to happen we will be going to put the index name so what is our index name index name is actually this one right let's copy this thing okay then what will happen slash then what will happen uh, we'll be going to actually put a do uh, sorry uh, doc unders uh, underscore doc right and after that we'll be going to put a slash right up to this part everything is fine then you have to put a document id so document id uh, we'll be going to put like this str of i a variable i okay so that will add in few minutes and after that plus and this is going to be like this then question mark and then it will be a uh, pretty okay everything is done then actually uh, headers equals to headers and json equals to json data and authentication uh, parameter also we have to do so maybe we'll be going to write headers equals to headers right then we'll be going to write json equals to json underscore data and then auth equals to we'll be going to write like this and we'll be going to write elastic is going to be uh, elastic and probably i need to provide the 
uh, what you say like the password of my uh, elastic search index okay so maybe that i will get it from the uh, last tutorial so just hold on so maybe i actually opened it somewhere i don't know where actually this is um, so i don't know where it is actually just hold on maybe this document is actually okay so maybe inside this okay let's copy this thing and let's put it here okay so now i need to declare this variable i and every time i need to increase the i so i equals to one and every time after i is actually uh, printed so i equals to i plus one sorry i plus one okay right and after that we'll be going to print the response okay so you can you can print response or you can actually print the value of i okay so maybe you can just write in f string uh, like this uh, like this uh, so doc number is added okay like this so doc number one doc number two like that too it will be coming right so that's it so maybe uh, we can actually clear everything here i'll go here right now i have no document here right zero so let's execute this thing if i execute this thing everything will be uh, started working okay so let's do it hopefully i haven't done any spelling or logical mistakes okay so let's do it so uh, invalid url so basically uh, something is wrong here so what is wrong i don't know so maybe it will tell so maybe url and then this uh, api dog is okay so this uh, invalid uh, url thing is coming so basically uh, it's a known error okay there is a hot fix for this thing when you are getting so basically i need to cut and basically i have to actually put this thing uh, maybe i think i need to put this thing here maybe yes so if i do this thing this will work okay so clear right now no document let's execute this thing yes 201 means documents are getting added okay so what i'll do uh, i actually uh, uh, to while fixing this thing uh, i just change this thing so what i'll do i'll just uh, stop it and what i'll do i'll just go to the de uh, developer console here okay dev tools and i'll try to delete the index uh, again so index is deleted then i'll go ahead and put the index back again okay so then i'll go to discover right now no document so what i'll do here i'll just go ahead and write uh, maybe if then i can just write uh, uh, doc uh, this then i is added means document one document two like that way it will be visible okay let's clear this thing and let's execute yes see all document will be added let's wait okay let's wait let's wait for some time meanwhile i'm getting a call let's see who is calling me okay okay so i'm getting a call let me speak over the phone and meanwhile uh, you guys can actually uh, see this thing over the screen okay hello hello no okay so all right so uh, meanwhile i actually paused the video because it was taking a bit of time so see here uh, it is actually uh, showing 16007 uh, and our records are also having 16007 because one is header and if i go here and if i refresh the page this is also going to show me the same thing yes 16007 hits so in this tutorial we learn actually how to add documents in bulk using rest api and python i believe you guys actually uh, enjoyed the tutorial it is a little bit complicated because 
we uh, did multiple pause and we did multiple uh, fixes but i just tried to make the video clean so whenever you are going to watch this video it will be only one go for you and last but not least guys uh, don't just watch my videos blindly uh, after watching the videos just try to actually practice exactly the same way i'm actually doing it okay so this will actually going to help you a lot of uh, help you to uh, understand and also gain a lot of confidence because if you just uh, watch the video this is not going to help you you have to practice and you have to uh, do the coding by your own means until and unless you are not writing your code by your hand it is um, not going to uh, push you the moment it start pushing you you will automatically develop some sort of like intuition towards uh, learning more and this is actually going to motivate you towards learning more and more and from that point of time you will get a um, actual kick right so this is the way like here actually uh, i am teaching you a learning or you are listening it's kind of an instruction oriented thing until and unless you are feeling the motivation uh, from your inside you will not going to actually learn or uh, uh, make yourself expert on any technology whether it's java c++ or python or this sort of things okay if you want to become master then you have to actually always push yourself towards the extreme okay and how this will come by practicing how the practice will start from right away from this video okay so that's it guys uh, before i conclude the tutorial i'll just uh, uh, i'll just going to uh, do one more request that is guys please subscribe to our channel uh, hit the like button and also uh, hit the bell notification so you should not miss any notification and also try to share our videos with your family and friend because you always want to reach a larger audience base and last but not least try to put some comment good or bad doesn't matter but try to put some honest opinion if you think something is missing or something could be done in a better way something could be add in a more interactive way just let us know we'll try to include and we'll try to always improve our quality in the next video and if somebody is already working and having some complex use case if you want to share with us us, please share with us we'll try to actually uh, add those use case in our video as well okay so that's it guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care goodbye and have a nice day